what's up guys welcome back to a new video so today we'll uh, be mixing water and meth 50 50 uh, we got some questions how I'm gonna mix it uh, how you mix 50 50 uh, so I'm gonna explain all that in this video as you can see right here I got an empty uh, jerry can it's a 20 liter uh, I got some distilled water I'll show you I'll do the close-ups with uh, this camera and then I got the methanol right there uh, so let me give you a little close-up of, uh, of the methanol and the distilled water and then we'll uh, go to the next uh, part of the video. So this right here is the distilled water. Um, it's, it's German distillery. I don't know how to say that. Um, so distilled water. Um, so make sure you don't get the wrong water. You have like uh, Demi water uh, and all kinds of water. But you need distilled water. Uh, that's the, the purest, cleanest uh, water. Uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description uh, of, a, of a bottle like this. That 5 liters of water we're going to mix with methanol. I'm doing this in my garage because it's uh, well ventilated. Uh, it, it is toxic, so you don't want to be doing this inside. You know, you want to be doing this in a, in a bigger room uh, with some ventilation. Um, you know, if you're really uh, a safety guy, then maybe you need to wear a mask or something, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, also, uh, make sure you don't create a fire. If you have it, put a fire extinguisher and things like that uh, close by. But yeah, this is the methanol. It's 99.9% uh, .9 pure, I think. Uh, at least it's something like that. This is a 20 liter uh, cherry can. This is the back of the jerry can, so like I said, it's toxic, it's flammable, so you don't want to be doing this inside. Uh, you don't want to keep this uh, close to children, things like that, so make sure you just do this in the garage or something. Uh, but that's the methanol. So let's talk about the methanol fast. Um, a 50-50 blend means you're going to have 50% uh, uh, water, 50% methanol. So what you see a lot on the internet is um, people that offer 50-50 uh, blends like uh, I think Boost Juice and there are some other 50-50 uh, blends out there and they, they tell you it's 50-50 but I've seen videos on YouTube where people measure how many uh, percentage uh, water and methanol is in those bottles uh, and it seems to be uh, a lower methanol uh, blend than they say uh, so to be sure you want to mix your own water and methanol like I'm going to do. Uh, important when you're going to mix the water and methanol is you want 50-50 uh, water and meth. Uh, at least I want that for my application. But that doesn't mean you're going to fill a gallon jug with methanol, put it in somewhere and then fill a, a gallon jug with, uh, with distilled water and, and put it in because that's not 50-50. If you want to mix it 50-50, you got to mix it by weight. Uh, so that's why I got this little scale right here. Uh, I think it goes up to 15 kilos. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the water. Uh, first I'm going to measure uh, how much the jerry can weighs. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the jerry can on the scale. Then we're going to, uh, I don't know how to say it, tire the scale. So the scale goes back to zero uh, kilograms. Then I'm going to put in the water. Uh, then you'll get a, a, a reading, so let, let's say it's 5 kilos, uh, then we put it on Tara again, and then we're going to add 5 kilos of methanol. Uh, so we end up with a 50-50 blend, and it's going to be around 10 liters, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's start with that. Now if you want any other blend than 50-50, um, just make sure you calculate it correctly, because some people do like 30-70 or, or things like that. So make sure you do that by weight and not by volume. That's the most important thing to remember. So let's start mixing and I'll show you uh, how I do it. So I just googled this word. Uh, I didn't have a, have a funnel. I don't know if I'm saying this right. I didn't have a funnel. So what I did, I just cut up an ethanol uh, bottle. So I can uh, pour it in the top. And then uh, I can uh, do it without spilling too much. Um, if you do it doing it somewhere where you can't spill, make sure you put some plastic on the ground or something like that. Uh, for here in my garage, if I spill something, uh, it won't matter. As long as I get the right blend, it's okay. So now first, 
Let's put the, the jerry can on the scale and tile it. So I'm going to put it on the scale. It's on uh, zero grams. Make sure it's always on zero uh, grams before you start. I'm going to put this on. And it's 38.75. I already did this before, so it's pretty accurate. Uh, the last time it was 7.4, but that's okay. Um, let me make sure to open it first because I don't want to weigh this as well. So what I'm actually going to do first, I'm going to put a little bit of water in here, just pour it out, see if uh, the jerry can is clean. I think it is, but I'm going to check to be sure. So I poured that out, looks pretty clean. So that's also important, make sure it's clean on the inside. With these metal uh, jerry cans it's hard to see. So uh, I poured a little water inside and just emptied it on my hand. Uh, just to check out if there's no uh, debris or anything in there. But it looks, uh, it looks clean. Make sure it's all the way empty again before you start. So now we're going to put it on scale. So as you can see, I'll zoom in with this camera. It's 3872 grams. So I'm showing you uh, that in your screen uh, in the edit. So we know how heavy it is right now. So I'm going to put it on tar. So after tar, it's on zero again. So now if we put in all the water. Uh, we only get the weight of the water. That's what you want. So make sure it's on zero when the jerry can is on the scale. So let's fill it up. So while it's filling, uh, I'm going to let you know this jerry can, I customized it. So the other side is customized for my Golf R. Um, that's going to be in another video, so if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe, check out that video as well. So now you see how important it is to uh, check the weight of the jerry can, because while filling it uh, to the small hole, uh, it took too long and the scale just switched off. So I put it back on, but it's uh, on zero again, so I lost the weight uh, of the jerry can. So because my uh, scale just switched off, see it just did it again. Because my scale switched off halfway uh, during the filling, uh, I lost the tire weight. Uh, but like I said, make sure you make that uh, picture of your weight, or you ha you have to know the weight of the jerry can before you start. So right here, I think probably you can see it. Otherwise, I added it in. Uh, we're gonna have to calculate the weight. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take the full weight and then subtract this weight. So then we know the weight of the water. Uh, we're going to count the weight of the water uh, towards the full weight of the jerry can and the water. Uh, and that's the amount we need to end up when we fill the methanol. Um, so let me show you a little uh, screen how I calculate that to make it more uh, easy. Then right there we have the weight of the jerry can and the water. So let's subtract the water from this. So right here you can see the calculation, so that's the full weight minus the weight of the jerry can. So the water weighs uh, 4.926 kilos, so the methanol needs to be 4.926 uh, kilos as well. Uh, so the total needs to be 13 kilos 0.724. So we need to go for the 13.72 kilos. Uh, so that the metal right here, let's start filling. So 13.72. So as you can see I'm spilling some, it's a 20 liter jerk so it's kind of heavy. Uh, so like I said, put something underneath if you don't want the spilling to go on the floor. So actually this, uh, this little hole on the funnel, funnel, I don't know what to call it, uh, works really easy uh, when I fill it on the ground. I just put my finger on here, so maybe you're going to need gloves for that, 
I'm not using gloves. Uh, I'm just doing it like this. I'm filling in it, filling it uh, on the ground like this. Then put the tunnel in, uh, empty it. And if I see I'm almost at the weight, I can just easily put my finger on here to uh, stop the uh, stop the methanol and just pour it back into the to the 20 liter can. So that's uh, pretty pretty nice. Like you can see right now, the scale turns off again, so it's easier for me to put it back right here. Just lift this off for a second, put the scale back on, and put this back on. So now we're at 11.5. So here we go, this is probably going to be the last bottle. Um, what I'm going to do first, because my scale turns off after a while, I'm just going to lift this off, put it off, put it back on, make sure it's still on zero, put this back, right there. Now we're going for 13.726. So let's see. Thirteen point seven two eight. Uh, it's on like ten liters. So uh, what is that? Zero point zero zero two uh, difference. Doesn't doesn't mean that much. So right there we got a fifty fifty mix. Um, so let me uh, let me take that off the scale and close everything. So there we have it. Uh, fifty fifty uh, water and meth mix. I think it was four point nine kilos and a little bit and 4.9 kilos in a little bit uh, like I said if you're like 0 0.002 uh, grams off you know that's not gonna matter on, on a 10 liter uh, mix you know so if you're mixing small uh, 1 liter bottles I'll try to make it as accurate as possible but if you're mixing bigger uh, jerry cans like this you know if you're off by a little 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 bit don't worry about it too much uh, so like you can see this is a 20 liter uh, methanol can uh, so this is around 5 liters I wasted some as you could see but yeah that's it so I'm gonna use this for my goal far uh, it's gonna be tuned in January uh, so make sure you stick around for the for the video about that I'm gonna fill the, its little tank with this um, and it's gonna run 102 octane fuel so this is gonna give it a little extra so sorry about my garage not being all uh, cleaned up and everything, but uh, I just like to keep my tradition of not cleaning my garage as long as possible. Um, so yeah, that's it. The 50-50 blend. If you like the video, please subscribe and leave a like. Uh, it will help me out a lot. Um, and with that being said, thanks for watching and I hope I see you in the next video.